We're learning more about Perrion Carrion's childhood. He's one of the teens charged with first-degree intentional homicide in the death of 11-year-old Anissa Scott, the victim of a drive-by shooting off East Washington Avenue in Madison last week. A man who says he briefly mentored Carrion worried a day like this could come. He tells A.J. Bayadpour the death of Anissa Scott and the subsequent arrest demonstrate the role of an entire community in raising a child. For Kaleem Kerr, the image was jarring. I saw the name come across the screen and it was a young boy that I had sat down with at a local coffee shop with his auntie trying to help him. It just hit. It hit me hard. Kerr says he met Perrion Carrion in the spring of 2015 when the teen was still in middle school. He was getting in trouble with his teachers. He was getting suspended from school. Uh, he was getting into fights with kids. Kerr says he briefly mentored Perrion but lost touch with his family contact. He was showing the pain and frustration and trauma that he had been going through for almost his entire life. And I said, you know, I could see this happening. In a violent summer where Care has seen familiar names on arrest reports, this case is especially hard. My head just dropped. And actually, man, I broke out in tears. My kids had to console me because it's frustrating. I keep seeing that. He believes a community's frustration should now lead to action. Care says when it comes to community involvement to keep kids on the right path, sometimes the most valuable donation someone can make is either their time or expertise. They got to show these kids they love them, man, that they see them. It's not all about the money, it's about the relationship. Care wishes he could have done more in his brief relationship with Carrion. In Madison, AJ Byatpour, 27 News.